So today, we're gonna be making Merc. I'll tell you what I do remember. First time you tried Merc. What does it do to you? It's just one night we were on Merc. Can't shake the feeling. All right, so I'm gonna follow the recipe for royal icing that I used in the Amityville Horror Gingerbread House video. Well, I halved it actually. And so that means there is a cup and a half of powdered sugar in here, and then just the one egg white. And I'm gonna add to it an eighth of a teaspoon of vinegar. So we're gonna put our egg white into the big bowl. And then we've got this, our hand mixer ready. And we're going to probably like slowly add our powdered sugar. Whoa. This is not like fully done yet. And I don't have an eighth, so I'm just gonna eyeball half of a quarter. See if, whoop. Okay, so it's, it's nice and thick now. It's very paste-like. So we're gonna divide it into two bowls. One will stay white, and one we're gonna add some black petal dust in so we can color it black. So to this bowl, we're going to add a little bit of this black petal dust so that we can make it black. And we might have to add more, it might be enough. So let's go ahead and mix this up, get the color incorporated. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Okay, let's keep adding some. I want this to be real black. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put the icings in their own individual bag and then we'll be able to pipe them. Try to get most of the air out. So we're gonna start piping and you wanna pipe onto a non-stick paper of some kind, like a wax paper, a parchment paper. I have these little bakery tissues and I think that they're coated in something, maybe a wax or something like that. So I wanna see if they're gonna work. Uh, this was like totally free and um, that's cool by me. So we're gonna try it out. And we're just gonna cut just a little hole, another little hole, yeah, there. Oh God. And then I want to try to put the little dots on them. And press it down with my finger, see if that works. Oh, oh, that looks good. I love it. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so you can see it a little bit better.
These have been sitting for a while, so we're gonna see if they will come off easily or not. Okay. And it doesn't come off very cleanly. So I would say that bakery tissues are not nonstick and are not a good replacement for wax paper. Now we know. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. A like, that's the same thing. Subscribe. Boom, comment. That's probably good, right? Gonna be making work.